Anything which is violent will, will not help us. Even, even if it is the thought level, if there is violence, it hurts. So how do we look at our children? With a lot of love. Look at, with, look at the, all your thoughts with love, but don't participate. Just love. Let it be good thoughts, bad thoughts, ugly thoughts, dirty thoughts, no, no problem. Everything is your children. All are your children. They are all your thoughts. So it's okay. Just look at them. Keep watching. Them. Yeah. I razne misli se nama stvaraju ponekad jako prljave, neke fine, neke lepe, neke ružne, ali sve njih prigrlimo, prihvatimo, s ljubavlju ih svedočimo. The moment you start accepting your thoughts, you become free. I čim prihvatimo sve te naše misli, o svedočimo i prihvatimo, iznutra postajemo slobodni. The moment we start sitting and censoring our thoughts, we are bound. Ali do momentu kad počnemo da sudimo kao jedan odbor cenzorne cenzuru da udaramo po našim mislima, da ovo ne sve ni slučajno, mislimo ovo ne valja, ovo je dobro, ni dobro, onda padamo tu na, u, to, u tom uspehu tako zvanog kontrola misli. Primarily we need to accept ourselves. This incarnation, you as, a, as an incarnation is absolutely wonderful. That acceptance should be there. Then only we can live forward. Nema, nema nam napred, napredka dok prvo skroz ne prihvatimo sebe kako jesmo. To je mnogo veliki uspeh prihvatiti sebe kao trenutno inkarnaciju duše u ovom telu, svojim identitetom i sve. Prihvatimo sebe kako jesmo i zavolimo sebe. 
to nam je odskočna daska za dalje napredovanje. When you start connecting to the person behind the personality, you only see beauty. Zaista kad počnemo se konektujemo sa tom osobom koja je istinski mi iza te naše ličnosti, te naše maske, onda počnemo da vidimo lepotu svuda. Every thought is beautiful. Every word is beautiful. Every action is beautiful. All people are beautiful. So we see only love and beauty. That is that's what you need to see. What do you want to see otherwise? I kažem, mi u stvarima time biramo da vidimo samo ono što je lepo. Prvo u sebi, kakve gode misli dolaze, ok, sve su smislene, sve su lepe. Vidimo tu lepotu u sebi i počnemo samo da sve više vidimo u drugima kakvi god bili u spodačnom svetu. You know, we feel that we must talk all the time. Because we are used to talking. You know, when two people meet, we are, we, even if there is nothing to talk, we talk. So that, you know, oh, it's okay, he's a good guy, he talks. You know? Otherwise, we think it's rude not to talk. This is actually something in here. It's not true. Sometimes it's good not to talk. Not because you hate the person. But the love, will, love can be transferred through the eyes. Eyes will talk better than mouth. Kažemo, ađe, mi smo, kao da smo programirani da stalno nešto moramo da pričamo. S nekim se sretnemo, obavezno mora neka priča da tu nastupi. Čak i ako nemamo nešto pametno reći jedno drugom, ali kao da smo nekako nagonjeni da pričamo. Ali možemo, ljubav se može iskazati samo pogledom kroz oči. Ne mora čak ni da se pretoči u reči. You know, we tell people, you know something, I love you. And then, after some time, we say, I never meant it. Znaš, ne recimo, nekako da kažem, znaš šta je, ja ti jako volim. Ali naš um, onda kaže sa strane, kao da došla da ne. Nisam to tako mislio uopšte. So, who are we cheating? Not the other person, we cheated ourselves. Ali koga tim praznim rečima varamo? Ne tu drugu osobu, nego sami sebe. It's better not to talk such things and convey the message through the eyes so that everybody understands. Like animals understand. They, they see your eyes and they recognize you. You know, you don't need to tell them that I love you, dog. They, they know that with your, with your very presence they know whether you love or hate. Recimo kad posmutamo životinja, na primjer psa, ne moramo sad kad gledamo psa da kažemo ja te puno volim ili si voljen, dovoljno je samo da ga s ljubavlju pogledamo, on nas pogleda u oči i maše repom i već on tačno osjeti i prepoznaje. Tako i mi svi možemo malo više da iskomuniciramo iz sebe kroz oči, kroz izražene energetski i emociju nego kroz reči koje su često ograničavajući. So this is something which we must always remember. You know, I used to, when I used to go to Himalayas, early, early days, not now. Now I, I don't have, I don't have the privacy much, because there are a lot of people with me. Earlier I used to go alone. So, uh, sometimes I used to sit with an old saint. He's, he's still very close to me, but he's very old. I used to sit with this old saint, uh, looking at the river Ganga. We will not even talk. I'll be sitting, he'll be sitting, we'll be looking at Ganga. It's like a meditation. We we'll look at Ganga for a long time. We have we have sat, sat together for three four hours together, but not even one word we spoke. He will sit, I will sit. We will look at Ganga, and when it's time to leave, we'll nod and we go. You know, never ever I felt compelled to talk to him. You know, he's sitting next to me. I must talk. There's nothing like it. You know, it was good not to talk, and I I still remember. Sometimes he will suddenly say something, and this has come true. Kaže on pre, kad je još imao neke privatnosti, sad više to ne mogu će stalo neko oko njega, ali pre kad je imao više privatnosti, kad još nisu ljudi znali za njega, on bi nekad otišao do Himalaja i tamo je jedno divno mesto pored reke Gange i jedan svetac koji bi volao da se vidi. Kaže, mi tako odemo zajedno, sednemo pored reke i gledamo kako reka teče, tako jedno dva, tri sata sedimo zajedno i još to nemamo tu neko, teki osjećaj, ne izdrža, e, ajde sad nešto da pričamo. Nego jednostavno, prijedno nam je jedno, jedan sa drugim, bez ikakve priče. Samo smo tu u prisustvu jednog drugog i to je to. Nema poriva za priču. Tu i tamo on nešto kaže, kaže i to što kaže bude baš ono energetski moćno i često nešto što se ostvari. And the silence is beautiful. One time I remember, This is well before we found Amukhya Act Foundation charity platform. 
he said, Mahaji, do something for the children of Mother Earth. You will have eternal peace. You will have glory. So that was the time when I had no plan to start any charity institution. Uradi nešto nesebično za dobrotbit celog čovečanstva, nešto za druge ljude nesebično. To će ti dati istinski unutrašnji mir i slavu. I kaže, iz toga, iz tih njegovih reči, to se je obistinuo, on je osnovao platformu za dobrotvoni rad, zove se Act Foundacija ovako međunarodno, ili Amuker u Indiji. To je posvećeno to njegove čerkici Amu koja je poginula kada je pregazio kamion 2000. godine. So I was thinking that if I start something, it will affect my freedom because it's an organization. I must spend time with it. And I was so busy. I was the CEO of a company in Dubai. Uh, I was so busy. And I didn't want to, to add my add to my pressure. But later on, 2003, it started. Today we are in America, we are in London, we are in Serbia, we are in Macedonia, South, South Africa, Africa, India. So many countries, new countries are coming up. So he, his words were, it's, it was like written on stone, it happened. I te njegove reči su se bukvalno materializovali. Kaže, u to vreme njemu to nije baš bilo onako odno prihvatljivo, jer on je bio izvršni direktor firme, ono je jako velik pritisak, puno posla. Kao kuć ću se sad još natovarit, pored tog posla još dodatni posao. Ali poslušao ga je i započeo sa tim. I to je samo od sebe raslo. Evo sad naša ova dobrotvorna institucija, Act Foundacija, funkcioniše i i pored Srbije, Makedanije, Južna Afričke republice, Americi i Engleskoj, kreće je od Australije i slično, znači u raznim zemljama sveta i jako puno života dotiče i to je jedna izuzetno pozitivna energija kad mi možemo da dotaknemo druge živote. Likewise, another year, he said, Mohanji, you cannot hide for long, people will start recognizing you. So I, I joked with him, I said, Swamiji, let me hide as long as I can, when people recognize I will come out. <laughs> on je uvijek bio onako dosta introvertan i onda mu je taj uh, Swami Jit, jel, taj duhovni majstor, on je rekao Mojnđi, nećeš ti moći baš još dugo da se ovako kriješ, ljudi će početi da te jure svuda. I on se naša rekao, neka se još krijem neko vreme dok god mogu. That also has come true. I to se isto lot of people coming to see me in every country. So this is what I'm saying. Sometimes, you know, when you are starting to feel life, you will have much more clarity about life and existence. We are not feeling life, we are doing life, we are doing, doing, doing all the time. So we, we, we are not catching the feeling of life, every moment. The feeling of being you, the feeling of being as a relative, the feeling of being you as a, as a citizen, or in every aspect, feel yourself. Feel and feel and feel all the time. Every answer is within you, it will all come out. Kaže, mi jako smo nekako nagnani da stalno što radimo, 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 da smo stalno uposlani nešto, a jako malo osjećamo život. To treba da uhvatimo taj impuls osjećaja života. Uvek da se setimo, da se zaustavimo i da osjetimo. 